Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the K3 CR1 or IR1 visa, so basically marriage visas for spouses of American citizens or possibly lawful permanent residents in the United States. And a question that comes up frequently is how long is the visa interview? How long is it going to take? Well, long story short, and I'm sure folks that watch my videos with any frequency probably know I'm kind of a broken record on this, but it's, it's going to depend on the case. Every case is different. And quite frankly, you know, 80% you know, of the time, maybe even a little less, but call it the majority of the time, you know, most cases, they do kind of process through in a predictable manner. But there are, let's call it 20%, a minority of cases at the very least, that don't process through in a routine manner. Something comes up, there's some kind of bureaucratic snafu. In the case of the interview, you might get an interviewing officer who just wants to go more in depth. You might get a situation where they think that they need to call in the fraud prevention unit or undergo what's referred to sometimes as a Stokes interview. Again, it's, it's very dependent on the set of circumstances in the case. It's dependent on the officer involved. Now, again, my opinion, most people don't hire attorneys to assist with immigration for the routine cases. It's in the off chance you end up with a non-routine or, or the minority case where things get jammed up. And in a sense, you know, somebody like me kind of steps in to sort of un, un -log jam, you know, unblock the log jam, if you will, and just keep things moving. You know, and to one degree or another, we're, sometimes we're able to do that with a great deal of alacrity. Sometimes circumstances takes a little longer. Again, everything is different. As far as the length of the interview, a recent article from uh, Foreign Policy, that's foreignpolicy.com, go ahead and put this up on screen. The State Department's visa issuing authority is in crisis. Quoting directly, and this is a tiny excerpt from a really interesting article, quote, it's a rush system. A standard visa interview may be five minutes or less, conducted through bulletproof glass, often in a language other than English. Well, I can say the bulletproof glass is a given. Uh, at every time, you know, since I've ever been dealing with consular processing, there's always been a layer of bulletproof glass between the applicant and the folks behind the counter. Uh, now, st they say standard visa interview. Well, define standard. Again, all cases are different, and you may have a situation where they decide that they need to call in fraud prevention unit, or they want to underdo, undergo sort of a Stokes interview, etc. Uh, the notion that it's five minutes or less. Yeah, some interviews can be uh, rather short. I've seen interviews that have gone on for hours. I've seen interviews where they've called people back in the st they've called the petitioner back in the United States and put them through a simultaneous back and forth. Um, also, often in a language other than English. Again, that's very circumstantially dependent. Uh, we, most of our cases, especially in the marriage visa categories, there is a certain level of concern among consular officers that, there's, that the relationship is genuine. And for this reason, oftentimes, they may be wanting to conduct the interview in English to ensure that that person at least has basic communication skills, can communicate with their spouse. Again, all of this, again, is somewhat circumstantial, but at the end of the day, yeah, some interviews can be very short, and I've seen some interviews be very long, and you just never quite know. So, you know, always hope for the best, plan for the worst, and we have found that folks who are concerned about this when they do retain us, they're not retaining us for the sort of the majority, you know, presuming the majority of cases where it all goes through, again, pretty predictably. It's, it's not a matter of, you know, it's easy or, you know, in any way, shape or form, but that it's, you know, it goes through in a certain consistent manner. It, the cases that I, I think the reason we get hired is in the off chance that it might be one of those cases that even though it ostensibly looks like, you know, a pretty standard routine case, it ends up in practice having a lot of unforeseen issues. 